Today I'm unboxing an Ultra Saber's Consular lightsaber, and this is going to be an empty hilt. It's a Qui-Gon Jinn style lightsaber, so let's check it out. Now this is one of the more kind of premium style hilts that Ultra Saber sells, and I know it's going to be kind of one of the larger type of hilts that they sell too. So we'll see what we get. These are these boxes that are a little easier to open just by kind of prying them apart rather than cutting them. Okay. Let's see. I've got some other hilts in here too, but... Hmm. Let me check this end actually. Oops. <laughs> Some of the other hilts I have here I've shown in previous videos, so. Oops. Yeah. I've got some Ultra Sabers cards and instructions, and then here is a consular. Cool. Oh, let's see, where are my scissors? I think I'll end up maybe using them for some of this tape. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> All right, here it is, you guys, the consular Qui-Gon Jinn style lightsaber. It does have the empty hole for an AV switch. Here's the top, you see all the way down to the bottom of the hilt. MHS compatible pommel. Sorry for the squeakiness. So here's the shroud portion. We've got a cover tech wheel here. Cool, here's the blade retention screw. And, well, you can see that the emitter piece unscrews also. I think it's MHS compatible too. Anyway, here it is, you guys. Very nice. This is a Qui-Gon Jinn style lightsaber hilt. It's from Ultra Sabers. It's called Consular. Not to be confused with the Consular green uh, lightsaber blade color that Ultra Sabers sells, but I'm sure they named it that kind of after, well, the, the concept of the Consular Jedi and, uh, you know, the green lightsaber blade, I guess, was kind of supposed to represent a Consular uh, Jedi. But... Anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so it's probably about time to end the video. But here's the saber hilt, and that's it for now, you guys. Concealer from Ultra Sabers.